Every ski week, Miracosta students get the opportunity to travel the world through school-run programs. This year, some opted for the Spain trip led by Spanish teacher, Senora Shapiro. This year we started in Granada, then we went Granada, through Ronda to Sevilla, through Cordoba to Madrid, and from Madrid we did a day trip to Toledo. This, each year it's a little bit different, I try to switch it up, but this year we did flamenco dance lesson in the caves in Granada, we did a cooking lesson in Toledo, we do a typical tapas route which takes us through Madrid to the different restaurants, and ends up at the Chocolateria San Ginés where we eat the churros con chocolate, which are like the typical dessert in Spain. Um, we went to a soccer game. It was my second year taking the kids to see Atletico de Madrid, which is one of their major soccer teams, play. And we took them on a discoteca, like a boat in Sevilla, where we did a discoteca along the river. Um, and they got to dance and, and go down on a river cruise. Probably got, we got to go to a school and meet like kids that were our age and interact with them and play sports and just do stuff with them and it was really cool to like, meet people of our own age from a different country. Uh, my trip to Spain was a good way to meet new people from Costa that I haven't met before. The students spoke a lot of Spanish and I had a bunch of AP students that were on the trip and so I would say they did really well. I was really impressed. Every year I'm impressed. Some people try to speak more than others, but this year I would say I had the most, um, the, the largest number of students who were using their Spanish throughout the trip. On the other side of the spectrum was the second option, an excursion through Asia making stops in Cambodia, Thailand, and Vietnam. Both trips left students with memories to last a lifetime. Part of the trip was probably going to Cambodia just because it was different than anything I've ever experienced. And we helped out the kids at the school, and they're just a really impoverished country. And it was, it was really cool to see like how people, even though they have nothing, like how like, they get up every day and do things because like that's all they have. Yes, some of the activities that we did was we rode elephants, and it kind of like took us around like these temples and ruins that we visited, and. In Vietnam, we got to go through tunnels that like they used to hide in from the wars, and we went to Baby Tiger Zoo, and went to two schools and donated supplies for them. Um, it was definitely different. It was not westernized at all. I mean, Thailand was. Um, it was just a completely different culture than anything I've ever experienced, and everything's super different. Yeah, I believe I definitely bonded with some new people on this trip, and it's a really cool experience overall. I would definitely suggest it.